In the uh, resources folder, there is an arm swing folder. And in here, I have three files. Um, one is the Norman rig set up and ready to go in an arm swinging uh, pose. So it's, it's all ready, and uh, you can just begin from there. I've got also alongside of it the entire animator survival kit in PDF form. Um, what we're going to be looking at specifically is page 151. And um, <clears throat> this one talks a little bit about arm swings and just a really basic generic arm swing on a character. And um, the, the you know, tendency is just to get you know, the arm rotating forward and back and, and, and not to really think too much about it. But for this exercise, I want you guys to get flexibility down to even the fingertips. And we're going to look at, at doing that. So when an arm swings forward, um, the rotation starts at the shoulder. And the parts after it down the hierarchy of the arm are going to lag as the arm swings. They're going to be behind um, in an overlapping action. So as the arm swings forward, this hand is going to be tilted back. And as the arm comes back, um, the, the hand is going to lag the other way. And pretty much every point below the shoulder is going to do some type of lag. So let's go through and, and start posing that. We're going to make this cycle nicely. Um, so we want, we want the, the first pose to be um, the, the forwardmost part of the arm swing. Okay? Um, before I do that, I'm going to turn on one thing um, in the rig. I'm going to go to the Viz Control and turn on the left hand tweak. And that gives me these joints right here. It's just easier sometimes um, to be able to grab exactly the joints that you want and, and rotate them in exactly the way that you'd like. So I, I like to work with that. And it'll be best if you work from the side view, uh, since we're only really dealing with, with the arm swing from that one angle. So I'm going to grab all the controls. And you want to make sure that you're only showing nerves, curves, and polygons. And I'll hit S. Um, I've got auto key on. So now as I pose this, those channels are going to get keyed. So I'm going to start my arm in a forward position. And uh, the time that we have uh, on the timeline is a good appropriate time because we talked about um, the, a typical walk is 24, is on 24s. Um, so let's pose that hand. I'm going to just rotate it forward. And we'll start just by setting a, a key on everything. and. Um, Let's go to frame 12 and rotate it back. Um, I'm going to straighten out the arm a little bit. And um, at this point, that's good. Um, there'll be more that we'll need to layer up on top of here, but let's just get it swinging. So I'm going to go to the first frame and middle mouse drag to the end and hit S. And that's going to duplicate uh, that the first frame and as it's the same as the, the last frame. Okay, so if we just play this back and forth, we get that. Um, in my animation preferences, I'm at real time and um, I'm working with linear. So we can, we can leave that here for now. Uh, we'll be changing it to plateau later. And right now with that linear tangent, it just kind of ping pongs back and forth. Okay. So if we look at the Richard Williams book, uh, we'll see that when it's going forward, we want it to lag back. So that's between here and there. Um, and in the first half, we want the arm to, the, the, especially this wrist, to rot be rotated back. So let's do that. I'm going to go to, to frame four, grab my wrist control and bend that back. And you'll notice that we're starting to get kind of a nice curve flowing through, through the wrist. I'm also going to do a little bit of um, delay on this elbow. Now, we don't want to do too much, but uh, let's, let's try that. 
And um, let's go now to frame 9 and keep that uh, um, delay going. Okay, um, I'm going to go to frame 15 then, and let's get our, our hand delaying back as it drags forward. All right, so it's, it's starting to look okay. Um, I'm going to make an alteration now to the, the pose on frame 12 and still have that hand back a little bit. And then I'm going to go to frame 15 as it starts to sw as it begins to swing forward and I'm going to delay back that elbow. And I may even at 21 delay it back even still. Okay, so that's that's starting to look okay. I'm going to make sure now that I have keys set on on these uh, controls at these times now. So I'll just go using the period and comma keys. I'll hop from keyframe to keyframe and hit S. So get to the next frame, hit S, next frame S. This way everything has keys and it'll be real easy to insert the different poses on, on the other parts of the arm like the hand that we really haven't worked with at all. So with that done, you can double click your timeline, right click and change the tangents to plateau. And when I go into my um, settings and preferences, I want to change the animation settings to plateau and plateau with the weighted tangents turned on. Click Save. And with everything still collect, uh, selected, let's go into the Graph Editor. I'm going to grab everything there and frame it up with F. And we want this to cycle now so that we can see how it's, it's overlapping from the beginning to the end. Um, so to do that, we first need to view infinity. We'll see those dotted lines shoot out from all the different angles. And we want our pre-infinity curves to cycle and our post-infinity curves to cycle. So we're going to see automatically where things aren't smoothing in as nicely as they could. Um, and and we'll, we'll begin to deal with that in a moment. OK. Let's, let's take a look at bit by bit working out in the hierarchy. So we've got this arm here. I'm going to grab the shoulder. And let's take a look. It looks like the, the rotate Z is the main one that's, that's being affected here. So let's, let's take a look at that. Um, when, it, when the arm is rotating, it's going to rotate forward, and then it's going to ease out. And then gravity and, and the motion of the body um, is going to bring it back swinging the other way. So we want it to ease in and out. And right now, we've got a little bit of ease in with those flat tangents there. But we can push that by moving these keyframes that we have in between, uh, moving them down. I'm holding down Shift to keep it snapped to that time. And there we go. We'll, we'll have a little bit nicer ease in out going on there. We can already start to see now the flopping just a, a little bit more prominent. So I'll, I'll come down uh, the other control, look at our rotate Z. And we want these to smooth in nicely. So I'm going to tilt this so that it flows nicely along the curve. I'll come here and tilt that a little bit. Maybe I'll translate this down. These little tweaks that we make to the curves make a, a good bit of difference. So, um, and then you'll see this flat tangent doesn't flow nicely into there. So we'll just get that going like that. Okay.